Hello my darlings and welcome to my channel. It's a midnight reading for you. Um, and when I asked about what the reading will be about, the lovers came through. And I want to say that, and the hair fund. Uh, the reading will be most likely called uh, Choose if you need this message. So basically, whatever you uh, see here, whatever you hear in this reading, in this video, uh, that's all you need right now. And uh, if you didn't need this information, you wouldn't even click here. Of course, it's a general reading and um, not everyone will resonate with it. Not everyone will get the message maybe now, but trust me, later on, one day, you will be uh, recalling this reading and some of this information will be important for you. But of course I'm not saying you have to take a message that you're not gonna like or that you strongly feel is not for you. Uh, even though there was a certain reason why you clicked on this video, still you chose it. It was your choice, uh, the choice of your soul to be here. So um, we're only gonna have two uh, piles, pile one and pile two. Choose your shape, square or heart. Or maybe you need both um, messages, we'll see. Hello pile one, whoever chose the square. Let's see what kind of message, why you chose this video, what you needed to know or to hear currently, what's going on. Eight of Swords. For some reason, I want to talk like that. Love is not forbidden. Love is just on hold. And uh, that's the words that I, you know, just mess um, channeled for you. I'm going to say it again. And um, if it's not about like romantic love for you, it could be love towards yourself, towards your uh, family, towards your job, towards anything that you like or may like. But the words that I hear and the message why you hear right now is love is not forbidden. Love is just on hold. Wow, that's very strong pile number one. Take it whichever way it may resonate with your soul or with your current situation, person, anything. And what did I just say? Love is just on hold. Seven of Pentacles. It's just a matter of time. The hair front again. We already seen the hair front in the beginning of this video. And the star. Wow. Pile number one. Um, and I have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Pile number one. Continue trusting. Yes, it's difficult maybe. Yes, maybe um, you fail from time to time. Maybe you lost. Maybe 
things are not going exactly the way you want them to be. But this wish of yours, this um, beautiful thing I hear that you created in your head is coming to life just a little bit later or not exactly when you think is the time is right because timing is very uh, subjective or I would say there is no time in the universe only on earth we have time but in reality your past your present and your future are all happening simultaneously everything happens at the same time and you think <laughs> that you can separate those things but in reality what you want is already happening just in a different time at a different timing all those wishes that you want to manifest right now all that you're working on it's all already imagine that this all already happening and for you it's tomorrow but for the universe, it's happening now, at the same time. And if you will realize that, you will understand that... Again, I, it brings me back to the beginning. You will understand that love, or what you love, is not forbidden. It's just a matter of time. It's just on hold. What else put for pile number one? Five of swords. Two of pentacles. Okay, another phrase that comes to me is fight for what you can and release that something that you cannot control. So fight for what you can, it could again be uh, metaphorically, right? And release something that cannot be controlled. In other words that I hear is continue doing what you can and you know you can somehow um, affect the result. Like for instance, maybe it's your job, maybe it's something that you already know how to do. Maybe it's taking care of yourself, of your family. Maybe it's something that maybe help, can help the world, nature. And other things that are outside your control. And what can be outside your control? Things that you cannot change currently. Not that you can literally cannot change. <laughs> they will be changed on their own. You don't need to be uh, physically active. Uh, because you cannot really control what other people do or will do. You cannot control the weather, right? You cannot control um, how your tomorrow will be. But you can control some things. So stick to that. Stick to what you can and release the control of what you cannot. And this will give this um, kick to your manifestation, to something that you want. It will somehow uh, turn into your favor, just because you will release the need to control. 
Oh, how beautiful is this reading? Uh, by the way, I didn't plan to do any readings today. I just wanted to rest today. Uh, I didn't have that much energy. But before I went to sleep, I'm like, wow, why do I feel that I want to do this, you know? Midnight um, reading right now. That's why, because the message is so strong and it couldn't wait. I hear everything happens in divine timing. And for some of you, the divine timing is already in motion. So that's what I had for you today, guys. Pile number one. And thank you. Thank you for being here. If you wish to listen to pile two, welcome. <laughs> and I'm going for pile number two. Hello, pile two, whoever chose the heart. So, pile one today was very um, deep, not just deep, uh, but more of like a poem. <laughs> I had some phrases that I channeled and they were so beautiful. Let's look at you how your reading will go because I have no idea. And as I said before, I didn't plan on doing any readings today. And suddenly, like like just the cards that fell, suddenly <laughs> I'm like, okay, I have to do this reading. So we have Ace of Wands and Queen of Cups. I think that's Queen of Cups. Yes. So what's your message? You chose this reading, you chose this video, you chose this pile. Piece of sorts. What is this about, piles? Now I understand. So, uh, pile number two. For you, the advice here, or what you need to hear is... Control your emotions, but not like control your emotions because you have to hide your emotions or because um, you may be hurt. Um, why is this uh, coming like that? Control your emotions. What is this about? Because some... Um, opportunity is rushing into your life and I hear maybe right now your thoughts are occupied uh, by something or someone or maybe all your gaze is coming towards a certain situation or a person or some emotions but soon something or someone is coming that will need your clear mind and full attention and if you're going to be overwhelmed at that moment or you're going to be drained or in a bad mood uh, you may miss out on this opportunity or you may not act accordingly or you, for instance imagine if you um, you were crying or struggling all day and by the end of the day your friend or somebody around you uh, texts you and say wow listen I got this you know tickets and you know we should go here and there or I invite you to go out or I'm, I want to invite you on a date somebody will suddenly ask you right but you all day were so drained so tired so emotional that by the end of the day, you don't feel even to accept this offer. Not that it's going to be an offer of love uh, specifically for some it will. But uh, this is just an example of how can I transform this energy that I feel for you, pal. So, so control your emotions, not because you cannot feel, but because something is coming up 
where it's better for you to be um, in a full energy, uh, in a very good vibe. Uh, even your looks, you would say, wow, if only I knew that I will go somewhere today or tomorrow, I would take care of myself better. Or maybe I wouldn't cry all day and have those, you know, teary eyes uh, that, you know, I cannot even remove this anymore. Or how can I go somewhere if I feel bad about myself? You know, that kind of feeling. So please control in the upcoming future. I hear within the next three weeks, there will be moments maybe where you would, you know, feel awful even for some or very emotional or, you know, kind of depressed. Right away, think about this reading like that. Wait, wait a minute. What if I use my energy for all of that but I'm needed somewhere else or I will need to do something else and now I'm just what I'm doing is I'm just destroying myself that will kind of keep you in uh, tune this will keep you um, more on a positive vibe as well not that you have to wait for something but it will somehow keep you a life <laughs> happy so, so, so. but again it tells me this is your choice this will be your choice just like this reading you chose to open this reading this is your choice to take it or not to stay in this energy that you uh, where you cannot control what you feel how you feel and stay where you are or actually take a chance that maybe um, something else will come up and you will be ready for this energy you will be ready for this opportunity what else for pile number two is there something else that they need to hear five of wands i know you tired i i know you tired pile number two i know maybe you for some of you even maybe upset or tired to fight to control everything to be on top of everything you just want to relax uh, if you need time for yourself do that but don't do it for too long something is coming pile two something is coming with this uh, this is a uh, fairy stallion but this actually um, a chariot card right something is coming and it's better if you're going to be prepared. Prepared in all ways. If you, but, but you um, may be choosing the Five of Pentacles like this. Of course, if you need someone's support, then it's better to acknowledge your feelings, even if they're negative. And let them out. Because if you're going to hold everything in you all the time, by the time when you know you you will need to be on top of everything you're gonna be drained so pile two put attention towards yourself right now ask yourself what your body needs what your heart wants um what do you really want right now do you want to cry this day do you want to go and um maybe see a friend uh, a therapist i don't know Maybe you just need your own uh, personal space to this because soon you will, uh, it's better, not you will need to, but it's better for you to be on top of, like in charge of yourself even I want to say. For some people, you given up right the last step before <laughs> before your wish is coming. Like almost there, almost there. For some, this wish is not gonna be literal. I hear. For instance, you wished for one thing, but the universe will pay you in a different way, which will be as much as positive. It's not going to be any less than what you want. That's what I'm saying. It's not like, oh, okay, 
uh, I want love, but the universe gives me money. I don't want money right now. Or I want uh, attention, but the universe will give me a trip one on one, right? No, you don't want that. So this is not like that. This is going to be similar to what you want in a way, in what sphere of your life you're struggling in. It's going to be the same sphere, but it may be replaced or it may be a little bit turned a certain way, a turn of events. I hear that you may not predict or you may not know about, but it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be something that you still going to say yes. Even if it's happening this way, I still wanted it. It's like, you know, if uh, you created, for instance, it just comes to me, uh, if you created in your head that a person will propose to you um, somewhere in a specific place or your wedding will be in a specific catering or place or at the beach or whatever you created in your head and then uh, this will actually happen but will happen in a different place. You're not going to say, oh... Now I want to cancel all of that because it didn't specifically happen where I wanted it or how I wanted it. Same thing with a job. Maybe you wanted to work as um, technician just came to me. I don't know why. Or let's say you wanted to work in a high-rise building where there is like a um, few big offices, you know, big money going on. But this is not exactly the building that you thought of. I don't know how this called, guys. I'm just channeling. I'm, I'm trying to send you information. Um, whatever comes, right? But Or like you wanted to work in a specific city, but the same job came to you in a different city. And you're not going to say, oh, mm, I wanted it specifically like that. No, you're going to take the job. Okay, so those kind of things. Something is manifesting, your wish is coming, but it may not be exactly how you imagined it in your head. And for some of you, you kind of gave up already on this. Or you're about to give up, but you one step ahead. Just only one step left before you get what you wanted. But at the same time, it's okay if you kind of let go. Or step back because usually things are manifesting when we already kind of let go of the outcome and we say if this happens great if not I'm also okay with it in that energy um, you may manifest even faster but if you're gonna be in this uh, uncontrollable emotions and will do uncontrollable uh, actions, you may miss out on the opportunity that's actually coming. Remember that. So take control of your emotions in a way also if you need to acknowledge them. Do it too. Like uh, ask, ask yourself. Imagine if you are your friend. Ask yourself like you are somebody else on the outside and say, what do I need today? What do I lack? What, what's bothering me? What should I do to make it go away? What kind of actions should I do today? Maybe you need to do some sport. Maybe you need to go and run outside. Maybe you need to cry. Maybe you need to just relax today and watch your favorite movie or show. Maybe you need to eat certain food that you usually don't want to eat. But uh, you want to, you know, be un unhealthy today maybe and just to, you know, enjoy an ice cream. Ask yourself what you need. Maybe you just need a day off. Or a day off from everyone around you. Is there anything else for Barbara? Page of Swords. Um, you have to you have to pay attention. 
you have to pay attention to something that you've been holding for a long time and I feel like this is your emotions that you never maybe shared with anyone maybe you never even shared with yourself or you never uh, trusted anyone to talk about it something is there deep down that you're not talking about even to yourself be honest with yourself this will help you to release those emotions otherwise opportunities are coming pile number two so be prepared <laughs> and that's what I had for you today guys I love you all and I'll see you in my other videos bye bye